So, this is Cannons. Isn't this great? Uh, yeah. Uh, is it always like this? Great, I mean. Everybody's here for the football draft, though, but you should see this place when one of Bobby's games is on. Mm, fun, I bet. So, uh, look, you're his agent. You tell me, what do you think my chances are of getting him to do this? Well, Brett Favre's got a book coming out. We all know how competitive Bobby is. Plus, he'll be flattered to know a woman like you is interested in him. Uh, this book was my publisher's idea. You're not a Bobby fan? I'm not really a sports fan. I don't get the whole jock mentality, the self-importance, the womanizing. Frankly, I prefer subject matter a tad more esoteric. Then why are you here? Because my publisher thinks I need to balance the kind of books I love with those that actually sell. Uh. <laughs> then if I were you today, I'd act like a big fan. I can't be phony. Then I don't know how to help you. like this. Hey, hey, Bobby. Meet London Berkeley. You're the book editor? You seem surprised. Uh, I am. I mean, with a body like that, it seems like you could be doing more with your life. <laughs> well, brains are a curse. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> that was a shot, you know, but I'm allowed to go because you're cute. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, Bobby. <laughs> Can I get an autograph? Uh, well, sure. <clears throat> uh, um, do you mind? <laughs> I don't know if you remember. You signed me last year, too. I thought that belly button looked familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. No, an autographed ab is a treasure, I'm sure. Price of fame, you gotta pay it. Uh, that's true. I remember once asking uh, Isaac Bashevis Singer if he ever got tired of being famous and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what he said? I couldn't even guess. He said, it beat the alternative. <laughs> Isaac sounds like a card. Uh, let's get something to eat over here, huh? Yeah, uh, just something light for me. Why well, wouldn't do anything to spoil that figure? Grab us an onion ball for the table, will you, hon? Huh? Make it two. Thanks. Him. So, uh, a book about me, huh? You really think I'm that interesting? Would she be here if she didn't? Can I be honest? I wouldn't. Yeah. Bobby, there's a guy at the bar taking advantage of the taquitos. You want me to cut him off? Yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, London Berkeley, the great Lincoln Buck. Link used to block for me, and he still likes to run interference. I just hate to see people take advantage of his good nature. So how are the wings? Great, huh? <laughs> yeah. No, thanks. I'm saving myself for the ball. <laughs> Link's also my best customer. <laughs> yeah, we like to say... The, the buck stops here three, three times, times a day. <laughs> hey, ah! not your man! Plot to stay on the ball! Excuse me. Link's a great guy. Never paid for a meal in his life. Mm. Oh, I can't charge Lincoln. Besides, I enjoy taking care of my friends. Hey, I'm gonna take off after the draft to catch an art exhibit if that's okay. And my family, London Berkeley, my sister Nikki. London Berkeley. The one who wants Bobby's story. I love that idea. I mean, would that make the best book ever? Well, it may be tied with one or two others I can think of, but I do think it would sell. Sell great here. I'd put a big display on the bar, buy a burger and a beer, and we'll throw in a book. Oh, books for free. Good plan. <laughs> Nikki is a marketing genius. Actually, I'm a sculptress by trade. I just manage this place to help Bobby and to make a living. Wow, she's great. You should see the stuff she makes. Uh, I'd love to. Well, if you ever see Bobby's place, and I'm sure you will, <laughs> he's bought most of it. So how would you see this working? Well, the book should be more than just a litany of your achievements. I mean, fans know all that stuff, and it's a little boring. Right. High school kid sets national passing record, becomes All-American, becomes League All-Star, becomes two-time MVP. Is anybody still away? <laughs> Not that those things aren't impressive, but what would impress me and what I think your fans would love to know about are the valleys that you had to overcome. I don't think Bobby's had any valleys. Oh, everybody's had valleys. Yeah. Not Bobby. <laughs> Trust me. We'll find valleys if we dig deep enough. Well... I know my brother, and I'm telling you, you can dig as deep as you want. There is nothing there. Excuse me. Well, I think there is something there, and I think digging can be fun. For who? For you. It's cathartic, like being in therapy. 
I don't want to be in therapy. I don't want to talk about a bunch of psychological stuff. What, you want to just talk about a bunch of superficial stuff? No, I just want to talk about football and women. <laughs> you know, I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm getting that you're uh, just not comfortable with this. Well, you're probably getting that because you've done a lot of therapy. It's fine. You know, this is not something that everybody could do. I just thought with Brett Favre doing his autobiography. Whoa, 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 whoa. Favre wrote a book? Which they say is good. Yeah? How many pages? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Whatever he wrote, I could write more. Well, you know what we say in publishing. Size counts. <laughs> No, that's exactly what we said. I know. <laughs> so, do we have a deal? Oh, not so fast. There's a little matter of money we need to discuss. That's between you and our lawyers. I don't handle the money. I'm strictly creative. I want a dollar more than Favre got. Done. <laughs> Trey Wingo here. We're back with live coverage of Draft Day 2005. Chicago is now on the clock, and it's really no secret they need a lineman up front. My publisher is Absolutely. The draft is on. Sorry. I'll have the uh, papers drawn up and I'll call you tomorrow. You can't leave now. We're about to pick. Oh, the people in this room decide who's going to be on the team? Yeah, that's how it works. Stick around afterward. We pick the weather. Okay, we've just gotten word Chicago has made their selection. saw this one coming with the number two pick Chicago takes from Texas Christian College quarterback Dallas McBride. Uh, Dallas McBride? Quarterback. What the hell are you drafting a quarterback when you've got Bobby? Hey, no way. You don't replace Bobby Cannon. Is that what they're doing? I can't believe they wouldn't tell you. Didn't even know they liked this kid, did you? Yeah, well, sure, I knew they liked him. I mean... Everybody likes him. What's not to like? He's got an arm like a... Like a what? Like a cannon? I just meant... Yeah, who doesn't like him? I don't. I don't either. You don't even know him. I don't need to know him. I don't like his kind. What kind? He's a clean living kid from a Christian home. Great values, great work ethic, great attitude. Yeah, well, maybe that's the kind I don't like. Hey, how come you know so much about him? Probably represents him. You do represent him. Why don't you tell me? Bobby, I didn't know Chicago was going to draft him. If I did, you don't think I would have said something? This is just great. They not only draft a guy to replace me, and now I find out my agent's the one making the deal. Not if you have a problem with it. I do have a problem with it. What's the problem? He's feeling betrayed. That's not it. That's what a woman feels when a guy cheats on her. <laughs> what I'm feeling is after all the years we've been together, suddenly I'll chasing after someone younger. That sounds like you're feeling betrayed. Yeah, it's like feeling betrayed, but it's not, okay? It's like he wasn't even in the loop. Exactly. I understand you're feeling bad. Bad? I... No. Bad is when a guy like Ray Lewis puts a helmet to your ribs. I'm not feeling bad. I'm feeling something else. Betrayed? I guess you got the valley you were looking for. So, are you fired? I uh, know, not yet, but I know how this plays out. I'm supposed to gracefully step aside now and play teacher while Dallas becomes a new golden boy. How do you know that? Because I was once that boy. Well, then, you had to see this coming. I mean, at a certain I age... I just thought when the day came, I'd be the one to make the call. So I'm not sure where I go from here. Well, with the amount of money you've made, do you have to go anywhere? I mean, unless you spend it all on your family and friends, I'd think you'd never have to work again. Or let's say you did. <laughs> You're still young, in people years. You could have an entire second career if you want. Is there 
Anything else you've ever wanted to do? Since I was eight years old, this is all I was ever expected to do. I mean, throwing a football is all I can do. I guess I could be governor or something. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for Bobby Cannon. Dallas. That's Dallas? Damn, he's cute. Oh, what are you doing here? I could not out in the hotel any longer. You were hiding out? You put me there. Who? What, I did? Yeah. You can cut the crap, Rich. Are you sure? You okay with that? I don't think you want to be your kid. Yes, I do. I want to be here so I can shake hands with my idol. It's an honor, sir. Your idol? Yes, sir. If you're such a big Bobby fan, tell me this. Lincoln. No, 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 he needs to know. This is a room full of Bobby fans, and I'm the biggest. So where do you get off coming in here to Bobby's bar, to Bobby's town, to try to take away Bobby's job? I'm not. I'm here to learn from the man that I respect and admire. Is that so? Yes, sir. And, and if all I ever get to do is stand on the sidelines and watch him play, or, or carry his bags, or, heck, carry his jock strap, then that's what I'll do. <laughs> And someday I'll be proud to tell my grandkids that I got to stand in the shadow of the great Bobby Cannon. I think he likes you more than I do. Did I tell you he was a great kid? Yeah. Anybody besides me need a beer? I do. I don't drink, but thanks. Funny, I feel like I'm gonna be drinking more. Well, not that I judge those who do. I just figure I gotta stay fit, but hope to play as well as you when I'm your age. Oh. <laughs> not that you're old, didn't mean that. Let me tell you something about age, kid. You're only as old as the people you date. Hi, Bobby. We're having a party later at our place. We'd love it if you'd come. You would? Yeah, I'll come. You bet I'll come. Great. Here's the address. All right. <laughs> Great. You, uh, you want me to bring anything? Yeah. Could you uh, bring Dallas? Sure. <laughs> There's a party later at their place you're invited. I'll pass. You don't do parties either? Well, I know what they're expecting, and I don't want to disappoint them. I'm a virgin. A what? And I intend to stay a virgin until I'm married. Good for you. <laughs> Sorry, girls, but... Yeah, we heard. He's a virgin. Yeah. That's so hot. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. Wait, where are you going? Hey, Bobby, what's, what's, what's the matter? I'm out of the loop again. If being a virgin is now hot, that's going to be one tough train for me to jump back on. So, uh, we'll uh, talk tomorrow? No, you can forget the book. I'm not writing a last chapter that ends like this. Hey, wait, 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 where are you going? To talk to him. Didn't any of you just see what happened? An American icon has fallen. A man who has never lost anything has suddenly lost everything. This is going to make a fabulous last chapter. <laughs>
but even going to bed with a beautiful woman isn't gonna make me feel better tonight. You are insufferable. I'm talking about the book. There is no book. No, there was no book. For a story to be compelling, it has to have drama. Your life was a fairy tale. Now there's pain, there's, there's disappointment. Bobby, this book could make millions of people feel better about themselves. How? People think you're invincible and they're mere mortals. This proves you're no different than Joe the pharmacist. Who the hell is Joe the pharmacist? <laughs> He's every man. What I'm saying is that this is a book people will want to read. No, it's not. People want to read. Well, first of all, I'm not sure people do want to read, but you know, <laughs> if they do, they want to read stories about comebacks and triumphs. I mean, Rocky didn't end with him driving a bus. Look, I don't know how to say this delicately, but right now we don't have a comeback. And with Dallas being his age and you being your age, I'm not sure how this ends in triumph. You're right. You don't know how to say that delicately. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, because you're not gonna get the book you want. If I'm gonna write a book where Bobby Cannon takes the hit, then Bobby Cannon's gonna fight back. He's gonna get himself in shape, he's gonna beat the odds, and he's gonna end up sleeping with his editor. Let the pharmacist read a few pages of that before he goes to bed. Wait, you're, you're telling me you honestly... Okay, wait a second, let's back up. You are not sleeping with your editor. You honestly think you can compete with a kid half your age? You watch me. I take it as a challenge, and there's nothing I love more than a challenge. I can throw harder than this kid, I can throw farther than this kid, I can throw more accurately than this kid, and I can write a better damn book than Brett Favre. I've got a fire me that I haven't felt in years and I am loving this. Okay, okay, let's do it. Great, we'll start first thing in the morning. No, 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 I meant let's go to bed. <laughs> what? Yeah, I feel like I can enjoy it now. <laughs> I am not going to bed with you. <laughs> Why not? Oh, gosh, let me think. You're not my type? I'm not attracted to you. Not spiritually, certainly not intellectually, and definitely not sexually. I'm just talking one night. <laughs> what if I told you I was a virgin? <laughs> I'm going home. Am, am I coming with you? Hit the button and, and let me out. I don't want you to go. I'm serious, this whole thing has me excited. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> Are you sure you're trying to leave? God, I'm seducing myself. How do you work this thing? Thank you. you know, I still can't believe you're walking out when you've got me all inspired. Listen, it is one thing to go head to head with a kid like Dallas McBride, but believe me, you are not ready to take me out. like someone got up on the right side of the bed. I wonder whose bed that would be. We ran into each other in the parking lot. I have his contracts to sign. <gasps> You're doing the book after all. Yeah, London came over last night. Oh, London came over. To talk. Oh, to talk. Rich, hmm? shut up. She did come over to talk and to challenge me, and you know how I love a challenge. Good morning, everybody. Boy, you got a lot of nerve coming in here telling us it's morning this morning. Link, I asked him to be here. What for? He and I need to get a few things straight. Here's the deal. I don't want your hero worship. I want you to give me everything you've got. You think you've got a gun for an arm? You think you can hit a target? You want to learn from me? Then you watch me. 
You do everything you can to beat me, but don't expect me to help you. This is my life. This is what I do. We're teammates. We're not friends, okay? Yes, sir. And may I just say, I admire the competitive fire that still burns within you. And stop talking like that. I'm trying not to like you. Maybe not friends yet, but two fiery competitors like you? I see the day when your mutual respect and admiration for each other will create a bond so strong it'll last a lifetime. I do, I see that. <laughs> Nick, you wanna pour me a cranberry juice? And what? And cranberry juice, I'm in training. So, when do we kick off? As soon as you're ready. How's this afternoon? Great. You can come by the gym and watch me work out. <laughs> okay. Or if you want, you know, maybe we can uh, work out together. You know, it's men like you who make women like me want to date women like me. <laughs> You may think that now, but trust me, you and your lady friend are gonna change your minds. <laughs> like I said, Bobby Cannon doesn't lose. Whoa, look at that. Maybe just a tiny shot of vodka. 